Oh, it's so great to uh, to finally catch up with you. Uh, it's uh, it's it's been kind of a uh, uh, a long time coming. <laughs> I, mean, I am an adventure all the time, and I'm always on an adventure. So yeah, it takes a minute sometimes. <laughs> it's such a great way to live your life. Uh, I, I I I think just being on adventures. Uh, do you look at life like that? Just one big adventure. I do, actually. I mean, and I think like honestly, the gift of waking up each morning and like anticipating like what's gonna happen that day is truly a gift. I think I, maybe to a fault, but I definitely have this sort of childlike wonder that I really fought hard to preserve, you know? Because like when you can look at the world through the eyes of the first time, right? And experiences as like, it's this moment in time and like, you know, this rain shower that I can go dance in and you know, whatever it is and just the individuality of snowflakes and you know, people for, every amazing nuance that creates them to be them. And I don't know, I just think the little things are the big things. And so it's just something that I kind of try to. Well, it's so refreshing to, to, to hear because, you know, this business, I mean, you're, you're, you, you know, you're an actress, you produce, you, you've done so many different things, but it can really drain you from that simple joy of, of uh, simple joys and being happy and people become bitter you know, with with this business. I'm glad it hasn't touched you like that. I mean, it's touched me all the ways, <laughs> but <laughs> so yes, it is a brutal industry. Like it really is. And you end up being, especially for my personality, because I am very, like very sweet, like tenderhearted, like love and um, very trusting. And um, like, I take things really, like I feel things really deeply. And I was always painfully shy because of that, because it was just sort of like, if you can't anticipate what's coming, then, you know, maybe if you just avoid everything <laughs> and hide, you're safer, right? Um, but I just, I think I got to the place where I love people more, right? And I just, if, if someone else is experiencing what I have experienced, like I wanna save them from that, right? So to me, like loving somebody better helped me kind of get over my shyness and that kind of thing. Um, but this industry, yes, is um, very challenging. And I think at the end of the day, hurting people hurt people, right? And it, it provides this really perfect incubator for people who can hide behind a screen with no face, no name, you know, no accountability and say whatever they want that's super damaging and completely untrue, like off the wall, off the charts. Like, I don't even have any idea where that came from, that hurt. And there's just zero repercussion. And so it is one of those things where you just have to wake up every day and be like, I'm gonna love, I'm gonna choose love. And um, I think, you know, for me, that's been a really, really powerful just life position for me. Um, because, you know, the last of the human freedoms is your ability to choose love, like no matter, or choose really your response to any given situation. And when you choose love, there's an amazing power in that that's irreplaceable like nothing else. And so, um, you know, it's a gift to be able to live that way. And yes, it's a choice and it's a very, very hard choice at times, but the um, like ramifications of that and how it, it kind of exponentially changes your life is worth it to me. Uh, growing up shy, is that one of the reasons why you chose acting as, as, as your life? <laughs> I mean, right, it's the most ridiculous contradiction, honestly. <laughs> I kind of still evaluate it every time. I'm like, oh my word, I think this will be my last one. <laughs> you know, like every time I'm in the spotlight again. Um, but yes, it, it, on the one hand it is. Um, you know, I had this amazing wealth of feelings and platform and just like life experiences from kind of watching from the sidelines and seeing you know, I can walk in the room and tell you everybody that's hurting and why and what happened and what conversation they had and, you know, all of it. And so I could see and feel so many emotions and real life experiences. And um, it's such an amazing place just to draw from for acting. Um, and then I also decided at a very young age that I was going to do everything I was afraid of. If I was afraid of it, that's what I was doing. And so I think. <laughs> I think honestly, like, and I've always been like super, super adventurous and brave. And like, I always wanted to keep up with my big brother and you know, he was an amazing athlete and I was an amazing athlete. And I was just like, if he can do it, I can do it, you know? And so most things, like it's hard to find something I'm scared of, <laughs> you know, like things other people like, did what, but like public speaking and um, like the spotlight was like the one thing that I was like, never, ever, ever can I imagine ever wanting to speak in front of anyone. <laughs> and so I don't know, I take challenges. 
But you also you also do stunts and and uh, you know I, I the more physical maybe the better for you on a on a role. Yes, <laughs> I like to do all the things all the time, and so um, for me. I love athletics. I love just living life to the fullest. And it's a gift to be able to be, you know, maintain, like I spend a lot of time in life um, maintaining my physical fitness and um, you know, making healthy choices and all of that. And so it's really fun to be able to capitalize on you know, what I do in my daily life and bring it to a film. And to me, being really authentic in a role matters. And um, I love stunts. I love the action of it. I love just the next level of intensity that it brings and then also me as a character like it is me and i'm always like always look at directors and producers and i'm like you can't double me i have to do my own stunts <laughs> so anyway it's been fun are you good at auditioning um i would say i'm good at it in the sense that when you go in knowing that they're looking for a particular thing, right? So I think I'm good at not taking it personally, I should say. <laughs> because generally speaking, when you walk in, you know, everybody knows what they're looking for, right? And it may have nothing to do with you as a person. It may just be like your eyes were green instead of black or, you know, something like that. So um, I'm generally pretty comfortable in my own skin. Um, so I suppose I'm good in that way. And at this point, honestly, I'm really, really grateful to be able to get roles based on work that I've done. And I'm kind of like, you know, you can see what I've done. If you love it, yeah, I'll work with you. If not, why, why would I show up anyway? <laughs> That's gotta be a great place to be is to say, well, let's get, let's get, you know, Kelly Grayson because, you know, she's done something like this before and uh, she's good at it. Right, and multiple, actually, almost all of my recent um, work has been that way where it's just, every time I've finished a film, I'll have 10 other, films that people bring they're like oh my goodness you're amazing what will you look at this will you look at this will you look at this so that is really a gift and i love it millions of people are losing their dental coverage every year or can't afford dental care due to the high cost. Just a simple cleaning can cost over $100. But there is an answer, TDA. For about a dollar a day, Total Dental Administrators covers over 200 dental procedures. Whether you're an individual, a family, self-employed, or retired, TDA has a plan that's right for you, starting about a dollar a day. So call or click for your free information kit and see how affordable dental health can be. Sometimes we can do things that exclude others. You're still talking to your friends. It's complicated. I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. Welcome to Jumanji! Even the smallest words and actions can have a big effect on someone. You have the skills. Because of you, someone's entire day, their year, or their life can change. Remember, the future is in your hands. Visit becauseofyou.org to learn more. Totally! Let's do it! They say life could be understood backwards. But it must be lived forward. That's right. Ricky? Ricky, where you at? What's wrong? Yeah, I'm coming back. Here we are, old friend, together again. Yeah, I'm coming back. The fortress, dying husk of its former self. I think it's the same about you. Shh. Yeah, I'm coming back. What do you want, Bazaari? Today's game is 600 million in cold, hard cash. This again, it's gone. <laughs> are you saying I'm driven by revenge? I am. Rise from the ashes back, back. Who are these people? They're just after money. The best way to hurt you is to destroy every little thing you love. Do your worst. Madrice, would you please give our friend here a hand? Rise from the ashes. I must make you. Suffer. Can't hold me down. Please. Fight back now. 
Let everyone go. Where are you? Rise from the ashes. Outside of being, you know, America's number one action star. Um, <laughs> Do you, do you want to do other things? I mean, obviously you do. Like, would you do a, a slapstick kind of comedy? Would you want to do drama? Um, yes, I have. And I've done, I've done some, you know, lots of other things. More recently, I kind of worked into the stunt role because I have a unique ability. I have a unique physique. I have um, unique things that I bring to the table. And I'm like, you know, why are we putting me in tons of baggy clothes and being like, try to make her not look like that? I'm like, how about make me look like me? <laughs> <laughs> capitalize on who I am and what I am but yes all of those other genres are amazing and um just take so much talent and I think ultimately for me just drawing from very very real places in life like I can definitely fit that I can feel those moments and so it's not really a challenge from that standpoint. Talk to me a little bit about the Fortress films because this is a series and and uh, you do so well in this these must have been so much fun to do. They were so fun oh my goodness and intense and the stunt team, they're always my favorite and they're like the unsung heroes. And as soon as they get on set, because I knew I was going to do stunts, they're always like, well, you know, if you don't have enough time, we have, you know, backup. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 I'm doing it. <laughs> and so um, anyway, stunt coordinator is the one that I get their number the minute I get on set. And um, this team was super amazing. And every time it was lunch break or, you know, a scene was wrapping, I'm just like, I've got five minutes, I've got 10 minutes, I have 30 minutes, work with me, you know? And so they were super awesome. Um, working in Puerto Rico was beautiful. I love the tropics. Anything close to the ocean is just my happy place. I'm so sure I'm part mermaid. <laughs> the other part, <laughs> part, you know, unicorns, mermaids, something like that. Um, and then the cast um, and crew, everybody was just amazing and just a gift to work with. I really, really enjoyed it. I would imagine that working in Puerto Rico with the, this cast and crew, you become a family really quick. Yes, yeah, for sure. I mean, you do on all film sets. Um, these were super intense films in other ways because it was some of the few productions that were actually filming during all these, you know, unique health new protocols that we were dealing with. And that was just a completely added complex situation that was just like every day. It was like, whoa, okay, what's happening? Um, so it was just a lot to adapt to. Um, so yeah, you know, bonding in different ways than before. And it was good. I was on set uh, in, in Puerto Rico years ago, and the catering was just off the charts. <laughs> I remember the food. Yes, I mean, food is always an adventure, right? To me, yeah. like, I feel like every time I go to somewhere new, like, I don't want to go to McDonald's. You know, so many, I think, American tourists will be like, oh, but is there a McDonald's? And I'm like, dude, put me in the most local, craziest, funkiest cuisine there is, because that's part of the travel adventure, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, yes, uh, Puerto Rico, I love their food, it's good. Do you have a certain method of getting into a character? I know some some actors will will listen to music, and and and, and feel the rhythms in their characters. Uh, do you have do you have a special protocol you do? Um, memories is like a really really huge one, depending on what it is that I'm experiencing. And then music, I was going to say, is one of those things that oh like hits me to the core. And if I have to do anything like emotional, like dude i could like cry thinking about it right now like <laughs> if i put on you know certain music and think about certain things like it's yeah it's all right there so yeah music is a powerful tool um and stepping behind the camera producing and directing i mean you you enjoy that part of your job too so i have done some but i've also done a lot of like the work part of it right like sort of the field producing and um, all of that, which is good so that you understand, you know, what's going on on the other side of the camera. Um, I would definitely say for sure acting is my thing. <laughs> and so with like these, these kinds of projects, I have nothing to do, thank God, with anything other than showing up on set and getting to do what I love. Um, what I have done producing more recently um, is just because it's my heart, right? And it's um, like my heart and soul and nobody can grasp my vision for something. So. I've been able to do a bunch of humanitarian work um, around the world. And so highlighting heroes and documenting what it is that um, people are doing invisibly to love and change lives. And when you can find someone who's like an indigenous organization in a country, the craziest, most far flung frontiers you could imagine, <laughs> I've been there. Um, and when you go there and you just see people loving invisibly, changing lives of you know, the little ones that other people have overlooked or walked over or whatever it is. And 
just see them being real heroes. As a single mom, I wanna make sure my kids have healthy teeth. Going to the dentist can be expensive. Just a simple cleaning can cost over $100. Then I found TDA, and for about a dollar a day, Total Dental Administrators covers my family on over 200 dental procedures. Whether you're an individual, a family, self-employed, or retired, your acceptance is guaranteed for one of these policies. Call or click for your free information kit and see how affordable dental health can be. Levi. Yeah, yeah, he wandered off again. Levi's worried. Who? Jasper, where are your pants? Hmm. He's just getting old, you know. You gotta quit walking off like this. You take away my keys so I can't drive? Now you want me to quit walking, Marvin? I'm Levi. I... Your brother Marvin's been dead for four years. I'm your son. I'm not gonna let him out of my sight. Harris is gonna find me some help. Uh, Maggie, this is Jasper. Sylvie! 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 Sylvie, I missed you so much! Let her go. Nice lady, go. Let her go. Okay. Well, you were gonna get someone older. You know, someone from in town. <laughs> we'll be fine. She's not old. Look, look, look at her. Oh, it's Jeffries. Darn it. Call me Jasper. I just wanted to. Apologize for Jasper confusing you with my mother. I think it's kind of sweet to kind of see how much he loved her. I, I'm scared. I, I, I can't keep it straight. Mama? You're young, and I'm not. How could that be? I think it's safe to say that his reality is different than ours. Well, why make him lose the same woman twice, though? It's not like you're going to be around forever. No, but neither is he. If you had a chance to run, would you go? Take it off another time. Sky and snow. Hey! Get me up! You okay? I don't think you ought to be looking at your mama like that. Yeah, well, and it's a very important stuff that you do because uh, you know, you're, you're you're educating people who are maybe comfortable where they are, and to know that the world isn't always like that. I mean, it's it's uncomfortable. There's clean water issues and things like that that um, you know people go through, and I think that's a wonderful, wonderful gift you've given us. Yeah, and you know, it's the gift of gratitude. And I think when you don't have a perspective outside of your little bubble of honestly, first world problems. <laughs> like, you know, my coffee is not hot enough. I'll hear people say stuff, but I'm just like, I was holding a child that's dying of starvation, you know, like, I, and it's just like, oh, like it grips me in a way that, I'm sorry, I'm like, you know, it, like it just, it moves you, right? Like you can either be incredibly hard or you can care and you can do something about it. And so it does put things in perspective. And when you see how, how the world changes, like, or, or how the gratitude of these little ones who have nothing. And um, I was in Africa recently in this little bitty, this little orphanage and playing with the children and they were peeling off, we bought them um, sodas because they had never had these sodas and they were so excited. And because I had asked the um, lady who ran the orphanage, like, well, what can we get them that will be exciting? And she's like, soda. And they just, they would barely crack the lid and just like suck on it and suck on it for hours. <laughs> and then they peeled the little plastic labels off and they rolled it up and it stuck to itself. And they were having these races in the wind with these little labels like rolling across the thing and they were elated like it was the coolest thing they'd done they were so excited about it and um i think just refocusing on like how much we have to be grateful for is a really amazing gift to everyone and i think um giving people perspective is important kelly what's up for you next uh what do you what are you into now what's what's the next film you're doing well 
there is one in the works. <laughs> um, I can't actually say anything yet about it, but um, it's actually really exciting and um, looks to be in action. And I mean, there's always this this industry is one of those that it's nothing till you're actually on set. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> um, but also follow my if you look at my Instagram, I'll generally post updates and stuff there. And then I'll follow um, you if you follow me back. Oh, okay. You know, that's like, I follow almost no one on the planet. <laughs> I'm very, and it's not like even, uh, it's like, I just, I want to live life's moments to the fullest. And every time I open my phone, then I see all this other stuff and it distracts me. And I was like, oh. so anyway, <laughs> so that is generally my, my tendency, but yes, I have some amazing things coming up and I'm super excited about that. Were you trained as a dancer? Because the choreography in fighting and the choreography in ballet are the same. Yes, it is definitely um, so musical. You're right. That's very intuitive of you. I just uh, just adore talking to you. You're a very, very lovely human being. And, and thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much. I appreciate your heart. It's evident and amazing. Oh, and you are too. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.